Hello and welcome to the Monday, July 10th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Arrived earlier today here for Sands Fire, of course. I frequently talk on this podcast about DDA's malware analysis tools. They're famously effective, for example, if you are attempting to analyze malicious office documents, but also a number of handy utilities that are part of DDA's tool suite. Well, it can be a little bit tricky to get them all installed and such, so Xavier did publish a Docker container with all of DDA's tools pre-installed and just this weekend announced that he updated it with the very latest version, also fixing some issues that the Docker container had. So this is probably your simplest way to get started with all of these tools if you have not yet installed them directly on your system. And in addition, if you are analyzing malware, having the analysis happening in a container, of course, gives you a neat additional level of isolation. And I told you to keep watching out for new MoveIt vulnerabilities. Well, uh, Progress Software, the company behind MoveIt, released a service pack fixing yet another critical SQL injection vulnerability. Exploiting of the vulnerability does not require authentication. And uh, with that, the attacker could modify the data or uh, retrieve data from the database. It doesn't mention anything here about remote code execution. That was an issue that was uh, triggered by prior SQL injection vulnerabilities. Not sure if that's the case for this particular problem. Now, I mentioned this is part of a service pack, and that's something new that MoveIt is doing now. They're calling this MoveIt Transfer 2020.1 or 12.1. These service packs are supposed to be released regularly. Didn't see an exact sketch or anything like this, but to make the entire patching process for move it uh, more predictable and uh, hopefully also a little bit easier. The latest flaw has been discovered by Trend Micro's survey initiative. At this point, I haven't heard of any exploitation using this new vulnerability, but since it's yet another SQL injection vulnerability, probably won't take too long for attackers to figure it out, then I guess you have sort of till the end of the week the most to patch this latest vulnerability and apply this service pack. Now let's talk about a vulnerability that uh, we don't have a patch for. Cisco released an interesting advisory regarding its Nexus 9000 series switches. Apparently they offer an encryption feature that allows you to encrypt traffic between uh, these uh, switches. It's the Cisco ACI multi-site cloud sec encryption feature problem. It doesn't work. Uh, there is a flaw in the Cypher implementation that allows an unauthenticated user to decrypt the traffic. All they need is the typical sort of on-path machine in the middle uh, type of situation or really just being able to passively listen on the traffic. According to Cisco, there is no patch. There will be no patch in the future, and there's also no workaround. They recommend you turn off the feature and find other ways to encrypt the traffic, maybe something like a more traditional uh, VPN. Well, this is it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.